Hello everybody, this is Twin Flame. How are you doing today? I hope you have been following the directions of your higher self well so far. By any chance, have you ever felt like you are an alien? Or you have you ever dreamed of strange places that don't seem to exist on Earth? Even so, you don't need to feel uneasy or embarrassed. At present, about 17% of the human population on Earth is people whose spirit souls have come from the alien planet. In other words, approximately one out of six people is an alien spirit soul wearing a human body. Some of your friends or your family members could be aliens or yourself. Let's figure out what features alien light workers. Captain Ureka's message for today is the characteristics of the alien light workers. Let's start. The planet Earth is a very challenging and unfamiliar planet to the spirit souls who have come from the alien planet. First of all, the human body which these spirit souls are wearing is very strange to them and very difficult for them to adapt to. As the latest humanoid model equipped with the highest specifications in the universe, the body of Homo sapiens is too unfamiliar to the space souls who used to wear different types of coats than the human body in order to make spiritual journeys in the material worlds on their planets. When these alien spirits went through the material worlds of their planets, they were dressed in the physical bodies of living creatures such as birds, fish, reptiles, cows, horses, unicorns, snakes, or highly intelligent insects, as well as metallic humanoids. Since they entered Earth, they have been born wearing human bodies and living equipped with the consciousness cores and the emotion cores of Homo sapiens. Their lives on Earth may be compared to the life of an immigrant who has to live in a foreign country. However, their lives would be more arduous and difficult than an immigrant's life, in which he has to live competing fiercely with the citizens of the country despite his cultural unfamiliarity and poor language proficiency. Of the alien light workers, the administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of their planets consist of two groups of spirit souls. One group is the 13th or 11th dimensional administrators and the other group is their staff to assist them. In the cases of planets that have suffered from huge planetary karmas or have been in serious situations, mostly the avatars of the chief executive administrators of the planet's spiritual hierarchies have come to Earth. Also, the majority of the alien light workers are the avatars of the parties who were directly involved in the creations of planetary karmas. Some of the alien light workers who have been participating in the project of the Earth Dimensional Ascension belong to the next generation administrator group who will lead the spiritual hierarchies of their home planets. They have come to Earth to receive diverse leadership trainings and to practice their future roles in advance. Earth is a multidimensional planet where all the 18 dimensions are unfolded. In order to learn the laws and truth of the grand universe, which are being implemented on Earth, the administrators who will lead the next generation of the spiritual hierarchies of their home planet have been experiencing the planet Earth. The alien spirit souls who have entered the planet Earth have the following characteristics. Firstly, they are given spiritual powers such as the ability to experience mysterious supernatural phenomena the ability to hear their inner voices and the highly developed sense of the key energy. Also, 
they may have the healing power or the channeling ability to see holograms or to hear messages. Some of them have the special visionary power to see the spaceships that seem to protect them or follow them around, and they can even interact with those spaceships. Since the alien light workers have the same destinies with their home planet, they should not forget the reasons why they come to Earth while experiencing the material world of Earth. Thus, they have had their planetary contradictions transcribed into their physical contradictions. They tend to be sick more often than Earthmen and live with more physical contradictions than Earthlings. Besides, the heaven has allowed them to have special spiritual powers in order to let them know that there are invisible worlds. Secondly, they have bigger karmas and more physical contradictions than those of the 144,000 light workers. They are living the rest in the human body, but their minds are run by the softwares optimized for their home planets, which is why they are unable to have normal conversations with others. You can find there are so many people who have difficulties in having normal conversations for longer than five minutes. Their planetary contradictions are engraved in their bodies and their material experiences that they have obtained so far on Earth are in fact all associated with their own planetary contradictions. This is why they have larger karmas and more physical contradictions than the 144,000 light workers. Thirdly, many of the planets from which the alien light workers have come are those that went through the high level material or spiritual civilizations than the planet Earth did. The alien light workers are not the general spirit souls of their planets, but the administrators taking charge of their planets, and so their cosmic ranks are relatively high. Furthermore, their consciousness is much higher than that of Earthmen and their matters of concern and interest are different from those of ordinary people. Because they have exceptionally stronger spiritual abilities than ordinary people, their interest and understanding of the invisible world are very profound compared with ordinary people. Fourthly, most of the alien light workers have been afflicted with the abnormalities in their consciousness cores or emotion cores due to their own planetary karmas. As a result of such abnormalities, they may suffer from the symptoms of severe schizophrenia, depression, or serious spacing out, etc. Or they tend to be emotionless and apathetic or behave in a very conceited and arrogant manner. Because of their planetary karmas, many of them are caught in serious karmic energy fields, suffering from severe cognitive dissonance. In addition, they may experience lots of strange paranormal phenomena that are not easily understandable from the perspective of ordinary people. Fifthly, according to the timeline of the Earth Dimensional Ascension, there will be a special event prepared for each alien light worker. That is, each alien light worker will have a chance to see the appearance of his or her planet or get the information about the miserable reality of his or her planet. This event is prepared directly by the spiritual hierarchy of each alien light worker's planet in order to awaken the consciousness of its avatars. Living as ordinary people and seeking the truth about the invisible world, they will suddenly begin to see or hear of the tragic situations of their home planet that they have never heard or seen before. 
Each alien lightworker will come to know about his or her cosmic rank through such an event, which will occur in accordance with the timeline of each alien lightworker. In fact, there are some alien lightworkers to whom such events have already happened. The alien lightworkers will have their consciousness awakened through relentless method by the spiritual hierarchies of their home planets when it is time for their consciousness to be awakened in accordance with their own timelines. They will come to know that their lives are not only for themselves. They have left their home planet and have come to a strange and unfamiliar planet Earth carrying the cross of the universe. For the awakening of the consciousness of the alien light workers, I, Captain Ureka, am leaving this message as a record. I wish all the best to the alien light workers. June 5th in 2018, Udeka wrote. His message was translated by Twin Flame. Thank you so much for listening.